Hello everyone, welcome to Johnny's Nasdaq YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna introduce an open source latency management tool which can help you keep track on your network latency and ensure it's performing as expected. You can find out more details about the features on the main website. But in this video, I'm more focused on how to install using the Docker. Linux server.io already developed a Docker image for us to use. We are gonna test in that. But I found that there's some features cannot be used because of missing certain dependencies, such as echo pin, this tool. Though I decided to use another image and install certain required tools and then generate my own smoke pin docker image to use. So I'm gonna show you what I did. Eventually, you should be able to use the image I created to monitor your DNS, you monitor your HTTP, HTTPS servers, as I'm doing here to monitor in a Google website and any other website using a pin, HTTP, HTTPS, DNS query. So those tools can monitor whatever you need it to meet your requirement, which is the probers shows in the smoke pin website. So now, Let's jump in. If you subscribe to my channel and searched from my channel, you will see previously I already have a couple of videos talking about how to monitoring your web services, web applications, and website servers. Here are some of the videos talking about the Hatchet tools which you use to monitor your server performance and website performance. You also can use GitHub Actions and Pages to do monitoring as well. Used to be Flash Pin is a popular one for free monitoring, but not available anymore. Uptime Robot still in the market. You can use it to monitor your website and the web applications. But all of those are third-party applications. The data you generated and the way how they're monitoring, you cannot have that much control, especially when you are using free plan. Not like to use a smoke pin, you're gonna install on your own VPS. Even a free tier VPS from Google Cloud Platform, from Azure, from Oracle is more than enough to have a small number of the website web application to be monitored. Depending on how large your environment it is, you may be able to install multiple slaves. And yes, one master can control multiple slaves to distribute your monitoring servers across the regions. But in this video, we will cover basic, which is just using one server to monitor in unlimited numbers of websites, DNS services, HTTP, HTTPS, so those kind of services. If you want to monitor in more services, you need to install different type of probes, such as echo pin, dig, TCP pin, those kind of applications on your VPS. We'll touch those probes a little bit in this video. The most important part for this video is to get you smoke pin website as fast as you can to bring your own smoke pin website up and running. Now let's use play with Docker to start the testing. I do like use play with Docker, this Docker sandbox environment to testing all kinds of Docker, Docker run commands and Docker compose file. It's simple, easy to use. Just register account. You just need to create your new instance, then grab the command from my related blog post. Usually I will have a section for the Docker playground. Here is the command I'm gonna use. Can you see copy? Uh, basically, this command is coming from Linux server.io GitHub repository. 
you will see the full command here, but some of the environment are optional. So I remove that and change it a bit like port, but mostly the same here. Kind of like a simplified version. To use it, Ctrl Shift V after you copied it, then enter. So you will see we are using Linux server, smoke pin image. Right away, you will be able to open this application page. We are using port 9080. 9080. You will get this URL, which is mapping to the Docker image, the open port 9080 here. The default settings, they are monitoring quite a few internet sites, Facebook, YouTube, etc, etc, some Europe sites, in different countries, North America sites, and then DNS, related queries for those open DNS. But I found this one thing is not working properly. I would like to use echo pin HTTP, echo pin HTTPS to monitor the sites which I have done here, so I'm gonna mon I'm monitoring Google HTTP, some other MSN HTTPS site. But if I use in Linux server image, I won't be able to do that. The reason why is there's no echo pin installed and they even cannot install it inside of the image. There's no echo pin. So if you get into this Docker image, you won't be able to get echo pin command to install. The reason why, because it's using Alpine distribution, which doesn't include echo pin package inside, and there's no package for it. I have to use it another way. So I searched about it and find out some other Docker image, which created using Debian distribution. And based on that, I installed echo pin, dig, all those kind of tools inside it and created my own image. So in next section, I'm going to show you how to use my image, how to use the free tier, Google platform, virtual machine to create this kind of monitoring site, not only monitoring the server using the pin, but also we are able to monitor the HTTP, HTTPS service, and also DNS query as well. So now let's create a free tier Google Cloud Platforms virtual machine. So it's a standard process. You will see this process in all of my videos. So I'm gonna mute myself and uh, when I play this video, it will be two times faster to make the video short. I know it's tough and I know this pain But hitting bottom is the only way to change so I'll keep hustling, you keep struggling, bitch I'm humbling, keep mumbling, I'll keep doubling, you keep bluffing, you've got nothing, I'll keep hustling. I've seen a lot of people who don't know what thirst is I've had a taste of evil and tried to cure the sickness But I just keep my head down and focus on the facts I'm setting down gravel while you just follow the path I'll lead them into battle while you're just too scared to act I'll leave the knife right in my back So I'll keep hustling, you keep struggling Bitch, I'm humbling, keep mumbling I'll keep doubling, you keep bluffing You've got nothing, I'll keep hustling <laughs>
As you can see, our Docker environment is ready. I already verified the Docker and Docker Compose version. So now our next step is basically just copy this Docker Compose .ml file configuration file and then paste it into our virtual machine. So the last thing you need to change other than the port number because port number I'm gonna use an 8080 which I already opened the firewall port for it so I'm gonna save it so next step which is also simple easy docker compose up dash d so all those commands and the configuration file has been recorded in my blog post link is in the video you just need to follow those basic commands as show in here and then you will get your own smoke pin website up and running next step which is the site is up and running already but we need to copy the configuration file in by default the configure file doesn't have much information probes haven't set up correctly the destination is almost empty so what I did is I created my own probe file and target file so we're gonna run it just copy the files in then restart the docker again list your files you will see two folders will be created one is config one is data Data folder is for all monitoring data, which you can leave there. But for the config folder, you are going to config.d folder again. In there, you may want to change general file here, which you put the owner, contact, mail host, those basic information in. But uh, you can leave it as it as well. The most important part is probes. So in these probes is the one I created. I already enabled echo pin HTTP and echo pin HTTPS in there. DNS also enabled dig F pin enabled. That's the probes. You may also want to look at target. The target file is very simple to understand. So default probe is using fpin and then you have title and the remark and that you're going to create your menu the first level menu I created my net sec side I didn't define probe here so which is using default probe fpin to pin those website 51 sec itprosec.com and then I defined another section which is epin http https echo pin because I already installed echo pin in the docker so I'm able to use echo pin http probe or echo pin https probe to monitor those websites. The next section is DNS. Right now I didn't define to use DNS probe which is using dig but you should be able to add a probe here as we did here using a DNS probe to monitor in those Google DNS or Open DNS. So that's the basic configuration files. If you want to know more, you can go to the Smoke Pin website to get more information about Echo Pin HTTP, Echo Pin HTTPS, and even Echo Pin DNS, also DNS. You can understand better to customize those probes the way you want to monitor your remote services. So now we should be able to look at our docker which is up running for five minutes now. It's running on port 8080. Let's go back to our virtual machine. Let's put the port 8080 here. Right away, you can see we have this website up and running. You may need to wait five minutes to see some data. 
We also can do one more thing, which is using our own domain to access this website. At this moment, we are using public IP plus port number to access your own smoke pin website. But actually, it's very simple to use your own domain to do it. I'm using Cloudflare plus Nginx Proxy Manager to create a record which can map our own domain to this public IP plus port number. Very simple to do. I'm using Cloudflare. You can easily create an A record as I did here. My A record smoke pin pointing to my Nginx proxy manager's public IP, which I always use Nginx to do reverse proxy for my website, web application. This A record in your Cloudflare or any DNS manager website is pointing to your NPM public IP. You can enable proxy on your proxy status, as I did here. Once you did the Cloudflare, you can go back to your Nginx proxy manager, create a new proxy host. In here, you can put your new created smoke pin public server IP. Just put into your NPM's proxy host for warding host and IP here. The port number is 8080. Of course, you want to enable SSL. You may want to request a new SSL certificate if you haven't done it before. Once you did that, you can use it. So what I am doing is I'm creating an Nginx proxy host smokepin.51sec.eu.org Once you did that, you put the public IP in for what port number in, and you can save it. In probably 30 seconds, you should be able to access your smokepin.51sec.eu.org using your own domain, just like I did. That's how simple it will be. That's all for this video. I gave you a quick instruction how to use Docker to create your own smoke pin website to monitor your web application, web services, and DNS services with customized probe and target configuration file. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumb up. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that. See you in my next video.